What's going on guys? Today, I'm gonna take you guys on a tour in my neighborhood right here in East Abbotsford in a little area called, well, I mean, I guess it depends who you're talking to, but I call it Claiborne. I've also heard people call it, I think, Upper Ten Oaks. And then there's some people who just call it East Abbotsford. But because we have a rare, sunny, beautiful day right here in the middle of winter, I thought that I would take you guys on a tour through the neighborhood because it's one of the last neighborhoods left that has that kind of immersed with nature feel where every front yard has trees and every home is built significantly different to the home right next uh, beside it. Every lot is at least, you know, 6,000 to 8,000 square feet. Um, I call them trick or treat neighborhoods. And like I said, there's not a whole lot of them left. So I'm gonna show you guys around. So something about this neighborhood, you're roughly 10 minutes to the highway, probably less, probably like seven or eight minutes to the highway. Um, and then obviously from the highway, about an hour and 15 minutes to downtown Vancouver. Probably about you know, 25 minutes to Langley, possibly 30 minutes to Langley. But as always, depends on traffic, right? Now in East Abbotsford, or I guess Claiborne, there is a grocery store not too far down the road. Um, what else we got here? We got a Castle Fun Park just up the street there, which is good for, you know, probably 10 minutes away, which is, they got like mini golf and go-karting and um, it's like an arcade, and a bunch of little things to do there. We used to have our birthday parties thrown there all the time when we were kids. Um, but other than that, East Abbotsford doesn't have a lot of amenities because it is more rural. This is an area you would move to for, you know, the family life, the kind of country living, quiet type of deal, right? Now, me being a realtor, I've knocked on everybody's doors out here. Um, not big on door knocking, but I do do it sometimes. And I can tell you that pretty much everybody in this neighborhood has lived here for 20, 30 years. There's not a lot of turnover in a neighborhood like this, so. So the amazing thing about Abbotsford that you won't get from a lot of places, at least in the Fraser Valley, is the views. East Abbotsford has some unbelievable views. And on a clearer day, obviously, you'd see the full head of that mountain. And a lot of homes in this area, like the ones right here, do get to enjoy those ridiculous views. take you guys down these steps. See how quiet it is down here? Love it. Reminds me of being a kid. You can hear the airplanes way off in the distance, but that's about it.
Reminds me of being a kid playing outside, playing street hockey. East Abbotsford consists of mostly 1970s to 1980s homes. These homes look like they're all, I wanna say late 80s. That one's definitely late 80s at least. This one might be like 84 or something like that. But yeah, there's not too many neighborhoods left like this one. These homes here, these, that is probably about 1.2 million bucks. I want to say depending on the square footage of the interior of the home, possibly more if it's renovated. Something like this, probably around 1.1, maybe just over 1125 or something like that. Obviously it's a single car garage, not a double side by side, right? Love a good vaulted ceiling in the main living area. Double car side by side garage, beautiful home. Another one here just like it. Notice how every home is situated on a generous lot size in a neighborhood like this. And this is what I love about East Abbotsford, is you get the bigger lot sizes with all these homes. And then over there, it's like a brand new luxury subdivision. So those homes over there, are substantially more expensive. Those are, you know, well over two million bucks, I wanna say. Maybe two to like 2.3-ish. And at the bottom down there, we have a massive park. just moved here about two months ago and um, you know, I wouldn't use this word but my fiance would it's probably the best way to describe it but East Southford has a lot of cute neighborhoods that uh, there wasn't a whole lot of neighborhoods like this in Surrey there are but they're few and far between whereas like all of East Abbotsford pretty much looks like this An area in Surrey that might look similar to this is uh, Cloverdale. So East Abbotsford kind of reminds me of Cloverdale, but Cloverdale is super flat. And this area is very mountainous. East Abbotsford is very mountainous. So um, similar vibe and feeling to Cloverdale, but with much better views.
anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted you guys to check out this neighborhood because it is cute. It's a beautiful neighborhood. Like I said, several times, there's really not a lot of neighborhoods left like this. So if you want to move into my neighborhood, be my neighbor, book that call with me. Otherwise, subscribe for more content like this. Like the video. We'll see you next time.